I am joined now by former National Security Advisor John Bolton. Uh, wonderful to have you this morning, sir. You know, I watched you on Leland's show and really took note when you said that this swap makes travel for all Americans more dangerous, that the value for an American hostage to anybody in the world should be zero. What policies would you suggest to this administration to help get us there? Well, we need a complete uh, reversal of what the Biden administration has done. I think it's fair to say that the principle of not negotiating for hostages has seen a lot of exceptions since the days of Richard Nixon and Ronald Reagan, al almost always to our detriment. But only in the Biden administration has it become explicit that we will trade uh, hostages for Americans held without just cause. And uh, by just by saying we're in the souk, we're in the bazaar, we're in the market, it says to everybody, uh, the the Americans can be sold, and the only question is what price you're going to get. So the the impact here is not just with Russia, uh, although it's pretty significant with Russia, but for Iran, North Korea, terrorist groups around the world. And to change that mentality uh, is something you can't reverse overnight. And I think we have to recognize that we've strayed so far from the prudent principle of not swapping hostages, we've got a lot of work to do to restore our credibility. But I think uh, the right way to do it is to make it plain that anybody who kidnaps an American will receive no benefits, none, zero. They could just put that out of mind. What they are going to feel is pain, pain in a number of different ways, economic pain, uh, perhaps expulsion of some of their nationals from the United States. We don't kidnap people, but we don't have to leave in this case, for example, Russian journalists, quote unquote, in this country. And in some cases, a limited number to be sure, particularly with terrorist groups, uh, we could consider using military force to rescue our hostages. Uh, we don't have a great record on that historically, but it's something we should do better on. And I think uh, as fast as we can, we've got to make it clear to adversaries in countries like China, Russia, North Korea, and Iran, and to terrorist groups worldwide, it gets you nothing of benefit to kidnap an American, and it could bring you ruin. So there were several Americans left out of the deal. We just highlighted Mark Fogel, a teacher, teacher arrested for possessing medical marijuana. Um, John, how do you see the renewed interest in his case and others playing out now? Well, uh, by the public reports I've seen, and I'll just go on that basis, the Russians still hold eight Americans. And the pattern we've seen in the Biden administration is that the Russians have certain people they, they view as high priority from their perspective to get back. So Victor Boot, an international arms dealer, somebody they wanted to get back, and uh, they arrested uh, Brittany Griner uh, and basically exchanged her for Boot. Uh, but they still wanted uh, a number of uh, FSB killers abroad. Uh, there are two apparently in this hostage exchange along with a number of other Russian agents. Uh, and so they took uh, uh, Gershkovich, uh, not himself necessarily uh, well known, but obviously from the Wall Street Journal, preeminent American news outlet. Uh, and that was a big priority by, by definition almost. And so they got their assassins out in exchange for Gershkovich, Paul Whale, and now and, and one or two others. So the Russians, look, for the Russians and, and others uh, of their ilk, uh, this is a good business model. You know, you got something you want, arrest a couple of Americans, put pressure on the on the White House, and they cave. It's not a good business model for us. We don't kidnap people. Uh, so we are inherently at a disadvantage uh, when we acquiesce and make these kinds of deals. I understand why people are happy for the Americans uh, coming home. They should be. And, and to get them out of Russian prisons is, is a very significant step. But a president has to think not only about the immediate crisis in front of him, but the safety of all Americans going forward. And every time, whether it's a, an exchange for spies, criminals, or flat-out payments of money, as with Iran, $6 billion for the release of five Americans, meaning your passport's now worth $1.2 billion to a rogue state, uh, it, it puts all Americans in danger. There's no doubt about it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.